off. It did. It was a very intense fire, and there was a lot of fuel within that encampment to feed that fire. Our cameras captured several makeshift structures that were built within that encampment in early 2023 that would have been highly flammable. It was a massive fire raging out of control before firefighters arrived with explosions echoing through the neighborhood. Flame shooting sky high. The blaze captured on video by neighbors in nearby high rises. Not good, not good. The Seattle Department of Transportation reported it started in a homeless encampment here. Yeah, it was, it was pretty shocking. I mean, we were startled and saw the flames in the sky. Natalia Pizanski was walking her dog when she saw the fireball erupt. I just saw the whole Susan Smith lives next door. I just heard this big like pop and I turned to look behind me and just this huge big puff of black smoke and it was yellow and green and then it just kept popping and by the third or fourth pop stuff started flying everywhere. She was concerned for the safety of her neighborhood. And then when stuff started flying, it's like, is it metal? Is it, is it tree particle? Neighbors say this isn't the first fire they've seen in the area. Another resident reported there had been at least three before this. Fox 13's David Rose also profiled this encampment in early 2023. At that time, it was clear structures were being built by campers out of makeshift materials. Inside, cameras captured what looked like a plywood tiny home. Other video from the exterior of the fence showed a black tarp structure to the left of the wooden home. We believe the black structure was sitting in the area that burned Monday afternoon. I hope nobody got hurt. Neighbors say they've complained to city leaders about the situation here before. They hope local leaders now do something to make this area safer. It, it blows my mind. Totally blows my mind. It, it was super unfortunate. I mean, very sad that something like this is happening. I hope everyone's safe. Everyone got out pretty quickly. So. And Seattle fire officials say the cause of the fire is still under investigation. For, fortunately, there have been no injuries reported. Reporting live in Seattle, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News. Jennifer,